Thank you for coming to see our show, Silencing Stigma, Reclaiming Life. What was something that resonated with you? Um, I think for me, um, it really resonated a lot on me with regard to different aspects of my life and the way I also work with the community. What's good about the, the show was that it really encompassed so many issues confronted by Asian and Filipino immigrant communities in, um, in the U.S. So not, uh, not only about family, relationships, about work, but also even intergenerational issues. So I came to this show not expecting a lot of things, but I walked away from this show deeply touched because there's a group of people that deeply cares about these issues. Yeah, it is really great, you know, because uh, it is different issues that is affecting our community. And uh, I am happy because it's not uh, just a Filipino American community, but other, uh, you know, eth ethnicity. And uh, it is a really great, um, you know, it is just refreshing. It is just a refresher for us mm -hmm. that these things are happening. And sometimes we just uh, don't uh, care about it. Mm -hmm. But then um, because uh, we are promoting it, then uh, people, um, will really start to understand what is really happening. So it is not just socialization, gathering, you know, which is very common among uh, Filipino American. Uh, we're in, if it is, uh, if it is a, uh, an issue like this, they don't care. But if it is a socialization like a sayawan or, uh, you know, a karaoke, then that is fine with them. There will be lots of, uh, uh, lots of audience. But with this, that is uh, what is uh, sad in my heart. You know, I feel sad about that. Because that, these are real issues yeah, that we are confronting. Yeah, like mental health issues that we yeah. need to acknowledge. And I think what's really powerful also about the show is that the, the stories that, are, that have been depict, depicted are real. Um, and that, that's why it, it really hits you and really touches you so deeply because these are personal realities that we experience from day to day. And also realizing uh, the mental health issue, which is very prominent now. So, uh, um, and uh, this is also a very big issue that is confronting, especially the, um, young, the youth and they feel that they are not uh, accepted that because of that uh, transgender issue. So uh, there is that um, sentiments on them, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it is hard for them um, to uh, understand. They, they're, they're feeling also that they are not being, is, uh, being understood, especially by the uh, old people, yeah. They yeah. feel uh, there is something, uh, th there's the intergeneration gap. Mm. You know. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you both thank for you joining so us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ginger. You are doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs>